Today, we are ranking the Euros and the Copa America players. And I'm joined by a special guest, none other than B Ford, also known as Jake. I kind of gave you a little bit of some hype train with that. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm ready to go. Well, welcome back to another episode of Pick 10. Have you prepared something? Did you put together a document? Do you have the notepad out? Listen, my ultimate team knowledge this year may not be amazing. So if I give any bad picks, I apologize. But I have come prepared. I've done my homework. I think... uh I'll be able to help the people out with some good player selections here. Well, then let's get into the rules. These players must be in the Euros or the Copa America promos. We're alternating picks. You cannot repeat players. And we have a 250,000 coin budget for the cheap options. And then unlimited, of course, for the expensive. And as the guest, you get to begin. Where are you starting us off? Let's go cheap. I feel like there's only one place I could start here. And I think I, I think you know where I'm going with this. Yeah, you, should I we write it down? Can take... I write it down? I'll write it down on paper. Hold yeah, on. Let's we'll see down, if I'm going to guess. I think there's only one direction. Jake has done a video with this individual. Did I go the right direction? I'm going for Weston McKinney. Ah. It, it's a little bit biased, but we can both agree that that card is incredible. Every single stat above 91 overall that's crazy for a player that's right now as we're recording this valued at 187k gotta be one of the best deals on the market i don't know why they're not showing him love because if he was a different nationality because he's already in a good league surely yep. this price tag will look different they threw in five star skills as well i mean ea Oh, did I didn't the even business. See that. Yeah, I mean, this is a really special item. You got technical as well, which helps you on the R1 dribbling. I think it's a fantastic choice, and especially in this budget range. I, I'm looking here, and I'm pretty happy with my choice. It was an SBC. This is where I'm going to go. Barcola, the Frenchman, has been phenomenal. He's outperformed a lot of his stats. If you've used them, you've gone up against them. Bit of a surprise. I mean, the numbers look good, but you never know for sure, especially with some of these promos where the players' ratings get so high that you start questioning how much is real, how much is legit, how much is authentic. Barcola has the business, but I would have bet money on you having McKenny as your first choice, just to address that. Yeah. I, I, It had to be, right? You, you've, you've done a complete collaboration. You've golfed with the man. Yeah, I think I won that first pick. Mm -hmm. A little, little bit biased okay. there, but yeah. Where are you taking us? I just did Copa America, so let's switch over to the Euros here. I'm going to go for Okafor oh, from AC Milan. I'm mm -hmm. just sticking straight Serie A here. 97 pace, 90 shooting. Listen, I don't play a ton of ultimate team right but if i did i wouldn't want to be spending hundreds of thousands um you know of coins on players and i could go for the higher end players like you know our cap is two hundred fifty thousand. i could go there i'm going to try to go as cheap as possible this man is 56k and i'm kind of like sticking with the syria theme here so if you wanted to build a syria themed team like Put him in. I respect it. You're a man of the people. I'm going to join you with an American pickup, if, if you'd allow it. Okay. Uh, brand new. We have Timothy Weah, who just had an SBC released. And it's kind of an interesting item because I always think of him being more of an attacking player or a winger. And you can play him authentically as a left back and a right back. You got a five-star weak foot. You have whip pass, quick step, intercept. These are all good play styles to have. And the stats... They're looking like some serious numbers. And uh, I've already put them into motion. Again, would recommend uh, picking up this SBC. We each have an American now, so I feel better about that. You took McKenny off the board. Now I've got Weah, and I'm, I'm happy days. All right. We're going for player three here next. I'm going to avoid the American route. I'm actually going to go for the rival. I'm going to go for a Mexican player here. One of the Copa America guys. I'm going to go for Alvarez mm. of West Ham United. Another midfielder who I think just has all around solid stats. Every stat minus two are above 90. Primary League link as well. I feel like very solid in the midfield if you want a cheap Copa America player. He's definitely going to be a a holding holding style of midfielder and this might be my ultimate team expertise but three star skills and a four star weak foot that hurts me i i gotta have i want five star ideally in something maybe yeah, i'm just okay. at that point in the game i'm just i'm dialed in where it's like i need it and i say that i'm probably gonna draft someone that doesn't have one of the two so i'm just well, talking listen, myself listen. i'm talking myself into a hole you know listen you're you're giving the picks for the hardcore foot champs sweat i am giving the picks for the ultimate, ultimate casual. The guy who logs on and plays a few games a week, right? So we're coming at this from two different angles, but I think that's that's good, right? We're, we're covering all, all the routes here, all the options. I like to give the people some selection. That's how this all sort of or originated in terms of we do the ranking videos and now I want other people's opinions. And then you can say in the comments, you're welcome to, who's done better here between the two of us. I've got a few choices on my mind. I'm almost thinking, where do I think you're also gonna go? Because there's only so many cheap options that are I trying really, to steal I one grab, of my picks or what? Sort of, sort of. Like to me, I'm a competitive guy. I want to make sure that I'm 
I'm drafting my best team possible, my best five. I'm going to go with a defender, a center back, someone who has a great track record, big transfer this year, representing Manchester City. We're going to go with Guardiol, who has kind of mm. slid under the radar a little bit because I feel like people haven't given him the same hype or respect that he probably deserves. And for a couple hundred thousand coins, you're getting a good return of value. You've got Jockey as a play style, which is always a nice play style plus to have in your locker. And a player with good track record, good proof of concept. He was on my list. You did mm. seal him. Okay. That's what I, I want to hear. I, I, Jake had gone cheap a couple times, so then I was saying maybe he's getting closer to the expensive choices, so I had to go ahead and do something. Yeah. I probably would have gone for him next, so... That's what I love to hear, Jake! Hey, we're on the same page. At least we know that, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry, that was my evil, like, Disney laugh there. My bad. <laughs> Since you went for him, I'm going to have to go for a, a different option here. I'm actually going to stick with Copa America. I'm going to stick with West Ham United, actually. I'm going to go for an attacker from Jamaica. We are going to mm -hmm. go for Antonio, mm -hmm. who I think is a very solid pickup for only 36,000 coins. Four-star, four-star. He's got 93 pace, 93 shooting, 89 passing, 92 dribbling, 96 physical for 36K. Listen, I know Ultimate Team isn't what it used to be. Like this player, what, just like a few years ago would have probably been like, uh, I don't know, a million coins. I'm not mad at Antonio. He's a striker that I've always enjoyed. I'm happy that he got himself a big upgrade. What I've learned from this is that you are helping out the short budget guys. If you don't have any budget, Jake is your guy. You call him, send him an email, get in the comment section. I think you have three choices that were under 50K. I mean, these are some discount shopping options at the finest yeah. degree. You have two left. I have one left, I believe. Yep, I like my next choice. I'm going to throw it out there. I don't even think you looked at the SBCs. We're going with Artagula, who scored a phenomenal goal this year. One of the best goals we've seen this far in the Euros, as we're at least recording. I mean, he opens up his body. got the five-star skills. You also have four play styles. What a nice little touch. It's good money. Good money, a lot of expression. Last choice, Jake. Last choice. I don't know about this, man, mm. but I'm going to go for him because I like him in real life. I, I don't know how we'll play in the game. I'm going to go with Fukro from Germany. Good stats. Five-star weak foot as well. I don't know about this one, though. He's more of just like a player I like. I'd like to hear your thoughts, though. Is that a no, good pick I'm not, for me? I'm not mad at the choice. Like I said, he has a five-star weak foot. Six foot two. Something that's really important this year if you play a lot of ultimate teams is having aerial play style so you can win all those knockdowns. I, mm. I don't know how much you've watched some of the pro scene, but it's a major tactic that's been implemented. He has that. And I've always kind of felt in the last, at least the last couple of years as he's gotten upgrades and promos that this has been a player that's interesting. He's fun to use. He can change the game a little bit. This is a good year for number nine in particular. I, I think it's a good choice from you. A lot of people have been using him. I've seen him over the weekend. So it's not just you. He's, he's been on board. All right. It's a good, a good, good round out choice. I'm not mad at that. Okay. I don't want to do another SBC because I've already done multiples and I, I usually don't choose a bunch of SBC players because they're going to leave us by at some point as you're maybe watching this video. We're going Romania and I'm going Oops. with Dragashin, center back, big body. He's one of those guys that got an upgrade from a silver. So you might say we got to prove those numbers, but I, I like what I'm looking at. He's got aerial. He's got jockey, which helps with the side to side movement. Aerial, of course, with the knockdowns, the defending, the scoring. And I think he's going to be slept on because he's Romanian. So I'm just throwing it out there. He's in the Premier League, though. So, I mean, you can bring together some easy links. That's crazy. Isn't it crazy? Like players like that who may be like super overpowered just because they're nation. I understand like he may not link to as many players, but if, if he's in the Premier League, right? Like, well, we've seen crazy upgrades this year as well. There's so many players, especially with the Euros and Copa America where they weren't necessarily prevalent in the game prior. And all of a sudden now you got a 92, a 93, a 94, 95 sometimes. And this is one of those circumstances, but I'm telling you, give him a little bit of a green light. Let me know your thoughts. Are you ready for the expensive, the unlimited options? I am ready. Who's going to be your first selection? I feel like my first option could be very predictable as well. I'm not going to go for too many like crazy high valued players because that's kind of just like how I've been going so far. But I, I'm going to choose one. The first player is going to be my most expensive. It's only going to be down from here in terms of price. I'm going to go for Cole Palmer. Oh. 96, my man from Chelsea. He's one of my favorite players. Hasn't been playing a ton in the Euros though, which has, yeah. I, I want to see him get more minutes, and he might with how England have been doing. But I'm frustrated with England. I know neither of us are English, but player to player, position to position, you say, surely you got to go for it. Give us some sort of razzle and some dazzle and push some bodies and be aggressive and be the side that's initiating the, the offense. It's kind of flat for the amount of talent they have. That's how I feel, at least. I don't know where yeah. you're at, Jake. I mean, we just watched the game together. They're going to make it through regardless, but yeah, 
make it through the group. I don't think they're going to make it very far after that if they keep playing like this. Not mad at that. You're also a Chelsea supporter, if you didn't know at home. So there yeah. might be a little bit of a bias there. Just a little sprinkle. Definitely. I'm going to start us out even more predictable uh, than I would say your Cole Palmer choice. And I'm going Virgil van Dijk. We've had a lot of iterations mm. and upgrades and moments and whatnot. But what's true is true. What's right is right. I don't think I need to break down the 97. So I'll just leave that here. But Virgil is going to be my number one selection and where are you taking us next like i said 1.6 mil was palmer's price i don't think i'm gonna go very higher than that unless you steal one of my players um i'm gonna go i've been sticking with a lot of midfielders who i think just have great all-around stats and i think this is one of the most probably underrated players in these promos right now he's 800k then 10 core okay Spurs he's player he's good uruguayan good links Four star, five star. Every stat is above 90. I mean, this dude will be a boss in the midfield. Him and McKenney, throw them both in there. It is a bit mad, though. He, every stat above 90, 800K. I think McKinney was only like 200K as well. So interesting that but was he on your list uh, he's on my short list i don't know that he yeah. would get chosen or not chosen we got a lot of expensive ice items and i'm going to take advantage of basically uh, where the bank you got unlimited coins huh we're going big but I, I was just thinking when you said that you could get mckenny and bendicor for under a million coins that's a pretty solid partnership for that price point yeah. and if anything long term i'd say they're even going to get more affordable or cheaper as we see more promos i'm not a trader don't come after me if you lose coins Jake, I think I'm going all defense here, it looks like. Uh, I'm going to take oh. another center back. I, I think he rivals as good as Virgil van Dijk. Different type of center back. Militao is the best chase back or responsive, almost a nuisance as a, as a center back. He's never out of anything. This new item that he's got is fantastic. If we were here with his way back, he'd say fantastic. Uh, highly recommended, but it's going to cost you everything that you own. I'm just throwing that out there. Again, Jake's, Jake's being more sentimental jake's giving you yeah you know, options that maybe are a little more affordable uh but i'm i'm spending everything we got so it's balancing out yeah i mean if you go with mike's picks you're breaking the bank <laughs> you actually you have nothing you've spent so much money this year if you go with my choices yeah you got unlimited coins man okay let's go with an attacker here i'm gonna go with gabriel martinelli mm. brazilian another Copa america player good stats on him another player who i really like you know in terms of traits and whatnot that's not my expert route um i'm going martinelli cheap option on the wing cheap relatively i mean everything's cheap compared to you know the players that you're giving me anything that jake <laughs> jake chooses you're good you save money i'm telling you i'm just <laughs> break i'm destroying the bank you know, we're, we're uh -huh. going so crazy right now i'm not even stopping either you know what why don't we do this i'll pick his teammate we'll go with a more expensive teammate here with Saka. Saka will probably cost you four times the price five times the price he's, he's up there five star weak foot of course the stats look unbelievable i wish that they gave him another play style he's part of the three play style group but technicals in there finesse shot is in there that's lovely and he's kind of underrated defensively which allows you to play him as a secondary center mid if you want to it just depends on your formation and tactical setup uh, i think most people are going to use him out wide as a winger but it's possible and i like having utility especially at certain price points sorry i'm not giving much input on your feed on your no players, you don't have, but, it's uh, okay you're just listening to me rant i'm just on my own time anyway <laughs> i got a pinky ring on i got shades on right now the backwards hat is on i'm oh, hydrated Shades? Oh, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You don't even see my eyes right now. I'm, uh, I'm gonna join you. I just had. I just had Let two trulies. I had two trulies at Jake's. I'm out of control. Let me know uh, in the comments whose glasses are better. I think everyone's gonna say mine. Enough about our looks. Should we go back to the Americans? I'm gonna go for Tyler Adams. Wow. Ninety five. Wow. 400k though man i mean Ooh. you put uh, you put him mckinney and benton core in the midfield um adam's stats look great as well very similar the american to, conte to american conte bro is that what people are calling him that's what i'm calling him he's kind of pit bullish how he plays in the game so it reminds <laughs> it reminds me a lot right. of conte he's not like a big yeah. dude he's not going to score a bunch of goals for you but his chase yeah. back stamina through the roof I, and he's also 400K. A new york red bulls new york red bulls talent right came through the academy first team then he took off to europe he took his talents to leipzig and then we've seen him in the premier league of course shout out to tyler adams i did Get not I, i'm trying to I, i'm trying to i'm looking if i have a counter pick that's in these these ranges, bro. I'm so far over. I think people are gonna watch this video and all of your suggestions are gonna be like, we can't afford them. You know what? That's that's possible. All right, there's one guy that I have to get. I'm gonna get him as my fifth choice then. I just I'm gonna get us a Copa America that's a little cheaper. And I believe many of you will have him coined as the best left back in the game. We've got the Canadian dream, Alfonso Davies. 
Uh, I yep. still feel like Mexico is our main rival. No shots at the Canadians, but yep. we've got a lot of built-up history. I've, I've been in, in that sphere for my life. It could change. It could change. You can get in there if you like. I'm just speaking on, on what I know. But uh, I've got Alfonso Davies as uh, my left back selection, and he's one of the best, if not the best, in game. There's always some subjectivity there. Well, listen, I'm going to give the people <laughs> a cheaper fullback oh you got a fullback on your list who you got on your list that's coming in here as a fullback right now he is expensive i am going back over a million bit but it's because i have to one up you it's gonna be kyle walker okay it's good in any fifa that kyle walker has ever been in um when has he not been one of the best fullbacks in the game honestly it's been years has it not ever like the reality he's been world class in his actual career for a decade easily and he's also just quick and people love pace oh he's still fast now still got he's the got burn, 90 still the physical as could be he's got 99. i'm just saying even his previous items i think ea tried to be disrespectful but i it, it, if it's a race without the ball just straight line race i'm taking that kyle walker give me what's the 84 start with a 90 pace I, i'm taking that kyle walker against anybody i don't even care if it's mbappe I, he's not quicker than mbappe but if it's just straight line run forget about it kyle walker is that guy i like that i like that choice you finally joined the party a little bit and spent a little bit you know you started yep. you started finally. budgeting bigger yeah you got to the yacht you know before this you're on a paddle boat and you, you moved up to a yacht with the Kyle Walker <laughs> choice. I've got, I'm spoiled for choice here. We're going to have maybe a few shout outs to guys that we left off, but I think Rafael Leal has to be there for me. I've loved this item all year. He's got that big body type. He's explosive. If you use a bunch of step overs, just filth. Uh, and the way that he burst out of those step overs, the deceptive nature, he drops a shoulder. He gives you a body faint. There's a lot of goodness there and he can finish for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. He'll finish at any time. What about brunch? Yeah, whatever you want. I don't, whatever. I like do. Point is, Rafael Leal is eating. He's going to be eating. Uh, he's a hungry young lad, and he's eating. You heard it here first. He is a hungry young lad. <laughs> I'm going to get de demonetized for this dirty talk, dog. It sounded dirty Thinking when you said you that back. When you repeated it back to me, I felt <laughs> uncomfortable with my my words that have been used, you know? I might do a retake on that choice. No, keep that in. No, don't cut that. All right, don't no. cut it. We just leave it. All right. Yeah, leave that. Before we get out of here, Jake, are there any names that you left off that you maybe want to give some special appreciation to? Because I got a couple that I, I could mention. I mean, if we're talking unlimited budget, I'm sure I would have thrown in, I would have thrown in Eder Militao. I would have thrown in probably two Um, I would have thrown, I'm just looking at names right now. I would have probably thrown in Saliba, like if we're talking unlimited, but I tried to give the people some value. Yeah, that, that, that lines up. I mean, even Frankie de Jong could have been in that convo. Yeah. De, DePaul's good to go. I think you go for the cheaper midfielders. I think they nah, stick with McKinney, you, stick you with got, Adams, stick with Ben Tencourt. You got Joe Gomez on your list. That SBC is good money. I don't like giving the people SBC options. Then you lose all, all the, the coins. You can't get it back. Nah, I'm not an SBC fan. But then you have not been playing ultimate team this year. You had to become an SBC Banned because you could not generate coins or it was gonna be difficult <laughs> i say that after i just gave you guys probably 10 plus million easily actually uh, maybe i'm closer to 15 million coin five player pickup on my unlimited budget so we went huge uh you know pick one of them and just keep it moving let us know in the comments whose choice you like better i think people are actually going to side with you on a lot of these just because they're they're going to say hey i can make those pickups i can get on board with that and if you're not following jake if you haven't subscribed to him i will link everything down below but i think a lot of you are already subbed up and you've been watching before or jake's been been crushing the scene thank you good sir now thank you so much for coming on we appreciate you